after Somalia's economy is growing and needs affordable energy to continue developing. The national energy deficit in the country is considerable, proving an opportunity for potential investment. As a priority enabling sector, investments to offer competitive energy prices and alternatives to current energy sources, generators, charcoal, will prove profitable for both investors and government. According to AFDB's assessment, the energy mix is dominated by charcoal and firewood. Meeting nearly 80 to 90 percent of the energy needs of the whole country and undermining manufacturing and forest sustainability. Renewable energy sources are a viable and immediate way to increase affordable energy for Somalis. Investments in renewable energy are multiplying in Africa as the costs of renewable technologies decrease. Somalia has one of the highest potentials for onshore wind power in Africa and one of the highest rates of daily total solar radiation in the world. The cost of renewable energy options are decreasing and are now often less expensive than diesel options. Overall, the total installed and operational generating capacity in Somalia is estimated to be 80 to 85 MW and an estimated 250,000 connections. Drops in voltage are frequent and supply is limited to 5 to 6 hours per day. The low tension, 480 220 V, over sometimes long distances leads to tension and technical losses with most small generators reporting 40% to 50% power loss. Renewable energy potential is abundant. The solar energy potential ranges from 5 to 7 kilowatt hour per meter squared per day with over 310 sunny days in a year or 3000 hours of sunshine per annum. Somalia is also characterized by strong wind regimes with annual average speeds of 1.5 to 11.4 meters per second with potential for small hydropower, around 100 to 120 MW, along the Shabel and Juba rivers. A number of public-private partnership PPP, agreements are in place, using Power Purchase Agreements PPA. There is huge investment demand in electricity generation, transmission and distribution across major cities and towns in Somalia so that manufacturing can once again thrive and cost of doing business generally gets lowered. Grid-scale renewable energy projects as well as off-grid and microgrid installations using renewable energy sources such as solar PV and solar home systems are becoming increasingly prominent in Somalia markets. The cost of technology has come down substantially. With these facts in hand, then, it would beg the question, where exactly do we invest in terms of energy, more so in the era of green migration? Here are the Somalia-specific options. Investments in cable manufacturing for use in transmission of electricity in future regional and national grids. Biomass household energy. Biomass is plant-based material used as fuel to produce heat or electricity. Examples are wood and wood residues, energy crops, agricultural residues, and waste from industry, farms and households. Investments in pipelines for use in distribution of fuel from refineries to inland Somalia. Investments in regional oil depots for regional supplies. Power distribution infrastructures in terms of physical equipment, technology and logistics. Investments in power transmission equipment. Investments in clean energy cook stoves. Investments in independent power production, which can then be sold to the government for redistribution or to the private sector. Renewable energy investments in areas such as wind power, solar and geothermal. Remember the commendable long solar hours and long windy Somali coastline. Investments in gas storage and bottling and finally, Energy Training Institute to upscale energy labor. An economy with scarce energy resources may certainly have challenges with industrialization, technological advancement and growth in scientific research. Somalia is like a child with uncorrupted capabilities. With better conflict resolution mechanisms, democracy and minimal unnecessary predatory foreign interference, there could be told, in a matter of decades, a different story. Thanks for being part of this episode.
please remember to subscribe to the channel for more issue-based content. See you later.